Dunbar. Hi, this is Karen, the social worker with Amera Group. How are you? My name is Karen Perlstein, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker, case manager for Amera Group Corporation. Okay, just hang tight there. We'll be there shortly. All right, bye-bye. My name is Amy Hargenhan and I'm a registered nurse, nurse case manager with Amer Group. We go out and see our members in the community and try and assist them with their medical needs, their social needs, anything that might be going on with them. We try to find the members who are in major crisis, normally in the hospital. Sometimes we just go out on the street and try and find them. Okay, right now we're in the North Avenue area, and this area is pretty well known for drugs some gang activity, homicide rates pretty high around here. We do most things together as a team because a lot of these cases require both the nurse and the social worker. And this guy looks like he's got a head of amputation. We've met him before. Yeah. That is him. Yep. And we've tried to pick him up for case management mm -hmm. before and he's he um, kind of disappeared on us. A lot of times there's a lot of miscommunication when they leave the hospitals and not real clear on what they're supposed to do. Antonio is medically fragile. His former residence turned into a foreclosure. We have placed him at an assisted living facility to continue recovering medically while we have some time to search for a new home. Hey, Antonio, so we're going to come over there and then we want to take a look at the places with you, okay? All right, bye-bye. Ready to see one of the apartments? Yeah. Okay. Feel a little bit stronger than the last time I seen you because the last time I saw you, you couldn't stand up. I still exercise it. Good. Mm -hmm. The main thing that we're working with Antonio on is um, stable housing because without stable housing, he's not able to focus on the other aspects of his life, which is his medical problems. From what I see, it's nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. So, what you think, Gary? What do I think? I like it. You like it, Amy? I do. I definitely do. I just can't believe that someone that you met only a few weeks ago care about you that much to help you get housed. And they came to the hospital with me. And they've been here the, this whole ordeal. You know, and I, I have the utmost respect for the James, this is Karen. Hi there. We're on our way to see you. Hello, dear. Hello, how are you doing? All right. Hi, James. James is a character. He's an old Harley Davidson rider and he loves telling people about the bike that he had, the motorcycle. He kind of took to me because one of his biker chicks was named Amy, so he'll never forget my name. With James, we're working on figuring out what his level of care should be. He was living at home by himself and he had to call 911 four to five times a day to come and pick him up off the floor. James talks about getting a motorized wheelchair so he can you know, speed down the roads. Right now, the goal for James is to figure out where the safest place for him would be and to maintain his independence for as long as possible. All right. All right. We'll you take care. care. Okay. All right, you. James. You too. Bye. Bye. Karen and Amy, they are God's angels on earth. These girls go out of their way to make sure that I'm getting everything that I need. If I could marry both of them and get away with it, I definitely would. For us to see that, yes, we are actually making a difference, just make sure whole 
life feel like it has some sort of a purpose. That's what we do this for. We may not have done everything that we need to do, but we got a couple really big things done today for this member. And it feels really nice.